Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and welcome to episode 3 of Battle Reports, a video series where I will be going over a weapon in Battlefield 4 and breaking down the statistics of the weapon to provide you guys with a better idea of how the weapon is going to perform. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, for today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Scar H. Now, this weapon does clock in at 620 rounds per minute, which is the second slowest rounds per minute for the assault rifle, but it also has some benefits that other weapons don't have similar in its category. Now, of course, this weapon does have a 410 meters a second when it comes down to the velocity side of things which even then is still pretty slow by itself so you're really going to have to compensate for moving targets and long range distances it's not going to be as easy to hit them so definitely getting used to the weapon or compensating the most for them is going to be more beneficial when it comes down to the main just of it. Now of course transitioning your guys' eyes over to the overall damage model, you'll notice that this weapon does a maximum damage of 34 damage up until 8 meters. And then of course after 8 meters you're going to see a gradual decline of the overall damage being outputted. However, the minimum damage is going to be listed as 25. So definitely still a good amount of damage that you can put down range. This weapon is a 3-4 to four shot weapon in most cases. So definitely when it comes down to it, you're going to be able to drop a lot of guys pretty quickly, especially with the limitations that the weapon does occupy. Now, of course, taking a look at the reload speeds as well as the magazine size, you guys will notice that the short reload is going to be clocking in at 1.9 seconds, which is actually a very fast reload for a weapon of this configuration. So definitely that's a very good reload, especially if you're more of an aggressive player, or if you commonly find yourself in chaotic action scenes that really require you to get a new magazine ready to go. Now, of course, the long reload is going to be clocking in at 2.4 seconds, and you're mainly only going to hit that as if you happen to expel all your ammunition. It is pretty easy considering that this weapon only has a 20 round mag plus one in the chamber. Of course, you add those together and you get 21 rounds total. And you can commonly find yourself having to reload, especially after every engagement in most cases. Of course, taking a look at the recoil numbers, the meat of this weapon to kind of give you guys an idea of how it's going to perform, especially in your hands. I've talked about information that is more relatively subjected to how the weapon performs when it comes to distances, engagements that you'll find yourself in, and stuff like that. But of course, being able to have a general understanding of how the weapon is going to kick is very vital when it comes down to the main just of it. So of course, starting off with the horizontal numbers, you guys will notice that it has a left pole of 0.2 and a right pole of 0.2 as well. So it's pretty much going to stay pretty standard. It's not going to deviate too far, so that's usually pretty good in most cases. And then of course, on the vertical side of things, the more known recoil that you're probably going to be experiencing, it's going to be clocking in at 0.5, which is a pretty heavy kick when it comes down to it. It's going to be very noticeable. So Definitely it's going to be in your best interest to always be pulling down as much as humanly possible because it's going to really alleviate that vertical side of the recoil as well as the horizontal side isn't really that bad so you shouldn't need a whole lot of help when it comes down to that. Now of course the Scar H does have a first shot multiplier clocking in at 1.6 times which is pretty much sufficiently less than most of the other ones but it's on par considering that the vertical recoil is a little bit higher than some of the other vertical recoils of other weapons of a different caliber so it only makes sense that your first shot recoil isn't as insane when it comes down to the multiplier but it's definitely very noticeable and it's going to be in your best interest to really outfit your weapon to really try to decrease that or at least have a little bit more management when it comes down to actually firing the weapon May that be if you're using joysticks or even a keyboard and mouse. But overall, that's all the information when it comes down to the Scar H. We covered a majority of the statistics that are very vital when it comes down to performing at top notch, as well as educating you guys on the matter of what this weapon can do when it comes to the battlefield. Now, of course, I would categorize this weapon as a heavy hitting weapon, considering that it does use a heavier round in comparison to the standard 5.56 round. So it only makes sense why there is the limitations that the weapon occupies, but however, if you become very accustomed to the weapon, you use it for a certain amount of time to really understand how it's going to perform as well as really indulging yourself and how you're going to set up the weapon, you're going to find that your ability to drop oppositional players at medium to long range is a lot more consistent in comparison to a lot of the other assault rifles in its similar category. But anyway guys, this has been episode 3 of Battle Reports. If you guys have any feedback that you would like to inform me about on how to improve the episodes, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And until the next episode guys, I will talk to you then. This is NMO, and I'm going to be signing out guys. Peace.